Hi, I am Mohan. Uh, in this video session, let us solve uh, one more solid problem that is hexagonal prism problem. Uh, the problem is like this a hexagonal prism, 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rest on HP. On one of its edges of the base, draw the projection of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 40 degree. Okay, here the type of uh, prism is hexagonal prism the dimension is a 25 into 25 into 50 uh, it is resting on hp uh, we are going to solve all the problems uh, which is resting on hp only in solids and one more condition it is resting with one of its edges okay this is very important uh, theta angle is given that is 45 degree and appears to be inclined to vp at 40 degree uh, appears to be means okay no need to find out beta angle okay they were given beta angle directly okay now let us solve this problem Go to line command, continuous line, change the thickness to 0 0.13 mm. Okay, draw x y line. Okay, go to text option. Here I'm going to choose Times New Roman and the size is 3.50 mm. Okay, name that x y line. Capital X, capital Y. Can name VP and HP. Above x y line is VP, below x y line is HP. Okay, now construct uh, on hexagon because uh, the top view appears like hexagonal lamina. Go to application, macros, run macros. Here choose inside polygon, open. Choose flat length. The dimension is a 25 mm. Number of side is 6. Minimize this. Okay, click somewhere on the sheet. Okay, now go to select option. Select uh, the entire uh, the hexagonal lamina. Change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm. And move wherever you want. Uh, and we need uh, the center point also in order to get the center point. So draw diagonals. Any two diagonals are enough. Or if you want, uh, you can draw all the diagonals. Okay, now name. Go to text option. Okay, I'm going to name this as uh, A. That is upper surface. That is visible in bracket A1. Okay, that lower surface is not visible. Okay, this side, B in bracket B1. Okay, this side, C in bracket C1. Okay, this is D in bracket D1. Okay, this is E in bracket E1. This is F in bracket F1. Okay, the center point O, O is visible. O1 is not visible before inside the bracket. Okay, show the dimension. It's 25 mm. Okay, now draw the projection line. You get uh, the front view from in point corner A to the XY line from corner F to the xy line from uh, corner e to the xy line okay now the front view the front view appears like a rectangle go to line command continuous line change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm the main point of this projection line to uh, here the axis length is uh, 50 mm okay length of 50 enter okay now till here you split lines only Okay, switch on the alignment indicator from first projection line to second projection line from second projection line to third projection line okay here uh, okay, here, here here we'll be having one more line join that line from second end point of second projection line to line point okay now name you can see if you view this uh, prism from the front side b is visible a is uh, invisible Okay, therefore, this is B dash in bracket uh, A dash. The lower surface, similarly, B1 is visible, B1 dash in bracket uh, A1 dash. Okay, here, C is visible, whereas O and F is invisible. Therefore, here, C dash in bracket O dash in bracket F dash. Here, similarly, 
सी वन डैश इन ब्रैकेट ओ वन डैश इन ब्रैकेट एफ वन डैश Okay, here d is visible whereas e is invisible therefore this is d dash in bracket a dash similarly here d1 dash in bracket a1 dash okay, show that axis length axis length is 50 mm okay, now stage 1 is over first stage 2 we need the theta angle Uh, theta angle is 45 degree. Now select uh, the front view of uh, stage 1. Now go to move option, switch on the copy command, select any one corner, place it somewhere on the XY line. Okay, now go to rotate option, first select uh, the fixed point, the next mobile point. Okay, and the rotation angle is uh, 90 minus theta, that is 90 minus 45 is 45. Enter, choose the direction. Okay, now draw the projection lines to get uh, the top view. Go to line command, continuous line, pick the 0 0.13 mm. I'll start with the uh, even. Okay, this is uh, A1. Okay, next B1 to B1. Okay, name that point. This is uh, B1. Similarly, C and D F. This is uh, C1. This is F1. This is uh, even. This is D1. And now from the top surface, go to line command. This is point B. This is point A. Okay, this is point C. This is point F. Now from uh, T and E. Okay, this is point D, this is point E. Okay, again, first connect all the boundary point by using uh, thick line, change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm. We'll start from A, A to B, B to C, C to C1, C1 to D1, D1 to E1, E1 to F1, F1 to E, Sorry, F1 to F, F to A. Okay, he is not here. It's here. Okay, now, okay, if you view this hexagonal prism from the top side, the upper surface is completely visible. That is A, B, C, D, E, F. If you connect A, B, C, D, E, F by using the uh, continuous line, C, F to E, E to D, D to C. Okay, the lower surface is not visible, therefore connect by using dash line. F dash to A dash, A dash to B dash, B dash to C1. Sorry, B1 to C1. Okay, now this uh, D to D1 and E to E1 is uh, visible and the nearer to the viewer. Therefore, connect by using uh, thick line. Okay, E2, E1, D2, 
d1. Okay, this uh, b to b1 and a to a1 is away from the viewer, therefore not visible. Connect by using dash line. Okay, a1 to a, b1 to b. Okay, now show that uh, o and o1 that is axis line also. So the projection line from here. Okay, this is o1. Okay, this is o. Okay, change the thickness. 0 0.13 and this is axis line. Okay, this is uh, O1. This is O. Okay, now we're done with uh, stage 2. For stage 3, we need psi angle that is 40 degree. In this problem, they have given how PS to be. Okay, that is direct the beta angle. No need to determine the beta angle. Go to line command. Okay, draw one line which is parallel to an xy line. Okay, choose one reference point from the reference point. Draw one line which makes an angle of uh, 40 degree that is minus 40. Enter. Sorry, plus 40. Choose one reference point. Draw one line where yeah, the angle should be 40 degree. And now we have to place axis of this hexagonal prism on this VP line. For this, select entire the top view of stage 2 diagram. Go to move option. Go to move option. Select O. And now switch on the copy command. You place that O somewhere on the VP line. Okay, now go to rotate option. Okay, switch off the copy command. First choose the fixed point that is O. O1 as movable point. Okay, place it on the VP line. Okay, now we have to draw the projection line to get uh, the front view. Go to line command. Okay, I'll start from uh, A. Okay, this is A. This is A dash next B to B. Okay, this is point B. Okay, this is uh, B dash next C to C. Okay, this is uh, C dash, next D to D. Okay, name that point as uh, D dash, next E to E. Name that point as uh, E dash, next F to F. You can name that point as F dash. Similarly, the lower surface. Okay, A12, A1. You can name that point as A1 dash. Next, B12, B1. You can name that point as uh, B1 dash. Next. C1 dash. Next D1 to D1. Draw a straight line. Okay, 
okay this is uh, d1 dash next e1 to e1 this is uh, e1 dash next f1 to f1 so this is f1 dash and now Connect all the boundary point by using a visible line. Continuous line change the thickness is 0 0.50 mm. I'll start from A1, A1 dash to B1 dash, B1 dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash, E dash to E1 dash, E1 dash to F1 dash, F1 dash to A1 dash. Okay, now if we view this, uh, the top view of this prism from the front side, the lower surface is visible. That is A1, D1, B1, E1, F1. Okay, that is nearer to the weaver. Therefore, it is completely visible. Join by using thick lines only. Okay, B1 to C1, C1 to D1, D1 to E1. Okay, the upper surface is away from the viewer. Therefore, not visible. Connect by using dash line. Okay, E dash to F dash, F dash to A dash, A dash to B dash. Okay. Now, see, the output from dash line and dash line is always uh, dash line. That is F2, F1. Similarly, the output of both the dash line is dash line only. You can direct connect uh, directly. That is A dash to A is also dash line. Okay. Similarly, the output of uh, visible line is a uh, visible line. Uh, that is here from uh, D1 dash to D dash is visible then c1 dash to c dash is visible or you can analyze here also you can see uh, c1 to c and d1 to d uh, is nearer to the viewer therefore connect by using visible line whereas uh, f to f1 and e1 to e is uh, away uh, the a1 to a is away from uh, the viewer therefore uh, not visible connect by using the dash line you can show the o1 uh, o also that axis line Okay, this is uh, stage one. This is stage two. This is stage three. Thank you.